I finally took the plunge and bought a pair of Crocs. I decided to get the Mega Crush Muns because, you know, go hard or go home. But I did think they were a little boring, so I decided to order some gibbets, or I guess I'll call them Crocs charms because they weren't like from the official Crocs site. So I went on Etsy and found a really cute set from a seller named Steph It Art, I think was her name. I don't know. It was a good deal. Shipping was decent. But this set is literally like the girliest thing you can imagine. There's rainbows, there's stars, there's more rainbows. And as I'm unpacking this, I'm seeing that everything that I imagined from the seller's webpage actually came true. Everything's packaged very nicely. Um, I'm examining everything and nothing appears to be damaged, which is, you know, exactly what I was looking for. So upon closer inspection, I'm noticing something's a little off. So the set is supposed to come with, I think, 10 of the little crack charm guys to like poke down through the holes of your shoe. And it's supposed to come with two rainbow ombre-ish Cuban link chains to put on the set. So here I'm just going to open up the charms to see what they look like in person. That little card I put to the side is kind of like a guide of how you could put your charms on your shoes and I am going to reference that later. Alright so here I am just kind of spreading these charms out to see what they look like. Um, if you've never used a crock charms or gibbets before, they have these flat backs and that's what allows these guys right now to stand up and I'm just being silly and spinning them around because you know, I'm literally three at heart. But anyway, just counting that there's 10. So each crock is going to get five. And on that little card I keep touching and referencing, um, it shows you how to put five on one and then five on the other. I opened the bag with the chain. I wish I could have said the chains because I need two. And I think I just kind of threw it down because I was low key fed up that I didn't have both pieces I needed for my shoes. And I literally waited to open it just so I could do this video. But hey, I sent them a message. Hopefully we can get it remedied and I can get either a replacement chain or whatever it needs to be. So I un kind of kinked the Cuban link chain to make sure it lays nice and smooth and you can see kind of the rainbow ombre there. I will use it on one shoe just to show you what it looks like, but not the first shoe. So getting these in is definitely a challenge. You kind of have to like angle the backing in through the hole and then you have to push it. I should have zoomed in on it, but I didn't. If you've ever used these, you know that you have to use some force. And I guess there's some kind of I don't know, a certain motion you can use to get those down in there too. But do make sure you're holding the shoe steady while you try to wiggle in the charm. All right, I'm referencing that little card again because it's giving me a guide on how to put these charms in. So I love really cute, whimsical stuff, but I literally have no imagination, no creativity. I'm not a design person. I can't think of something all the way through to the end. And like for that fact, I will never remodel a home. I will never be like, oh, I'll plan this project and this is what it's gonna look like at the end. I don't have that capability. I'm so like type A, Things need to be logical. I need to see them as they happen. And that's why I have to use this little cardboard picture to show me where to put the charms because I don't have the patience to put them on there so it looks nice and balanced and even. So, so far the process of getting these guys on isn't too bad. I couldn't see myself like, you know, changing these in and out for the seasons, but I might get to that point because this is my first pair of cracks. This is my first set of these crack charm gibbet guys. And it's actually a lot of fun. So I got the charms on the first shoe and just put it to the side because that isn't the finished product because I still want to add this train. So here I am again. Now that I'm a pro at putting these crack charms in, I'm gonna go ahead and put the next five 
on this next shoe and I'm still referencing that little card with the cock pictures on there of where the charms are supposed to go in order to help me get them in the right place, get everything looking balanced, and get everything looking super cute. Right, I've only got a couple more to go and I'm just making sure that everything's going in the right spot. I feel like this shoe was easier for the gibbets to go in. Maybe that's just me. And see, here I am just making sure that I'm putting this one in the right spot because if it's not in the right spot, it's going to drive me absolutely crazy. Yeah, this one was tough. I literally had to grab inside of that kind of hole in the front of the shoe to give me enough leverage to get that charm squeezed into that hole. Got to kick. Now that my last charm is just about in and yep. Yay! Oh, that is looking so cute. Now it's time to put on this chain. And I've referenced other YouTube videos on how to put these chains in. Since I've never owned a pair of Crocs, I thought I had to take out the ankle strap in order to put the chains on, but that's not the case. You literally hook the end of the chain around where the ankle strap is connected to the Croc. So there I slipped and missed that connection. And here I'm making sure I have the smooth side of the train facing outward. The inside kind of has like little bumpies on it, probably from the mold where they made the links. So I've got this train, at least end of the train, linked around this guy. And it's nice and secure and I'm just making sure to see if the ankle strap will fit over it. Obviously it won't. Again, forgive me, I'm a Crocs newbie. So here, I'm gonna try to kind of show you guys how this link is supposed to go around the connector for the ankle strap to the croc. So you kind of have to make some space between the croc and the strap to get that link down in there and over kind of like that, that knob or nubby thingy, whatever kind of connector you wanna call it. The end result is super cute, whimsical, super girly Mega Crush Crocs. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe for more of my content. Thanks. Gotta find my way to you.